Friends, welcome back to East Texas Kitchen. I'm Mama Steph, and I hope that you are thirsty for something refreshing and flavorful today because we're going to make a sangria. Now, this is going to be a sangria that has no alcohol in it, no wine uh, like the traditional recipe, but it has so much of the fruitiness and the sweetness that we love. So let me tell you how I make this. So what I do is I get a nice big pitcher. You can use a gallon size like this or whatever you have at home. You just cut down the recipe if it's a smaller container. And I've got some cut fresh fruit here, as you can see. So I've got a navel orange that I have sliced up. You can use whatever kinds of oranges are available. Um, if you have those little um, halos, that's fine. You can slice those up. Don't have to peel them. Just slice them, get the seeds out, and layer them in your pitcher like that. And the secret to this sangria or any kind of fruity juice like this is letting everything steep together for a long time. So that's what we'll do. We'll have this in the refrigerator after we make it. Then I'm going to put in some lemon slices. You can do one or two lemons, one or two limes. I love limes, so I like to use a lot of it. And speaking of that, I'm going to juice one of my limes because <coughs> I'm going to add some straight up fresh lime juice to this. So I'm going to just squeeze some of that out there. Okay. Now, and I've got some delicious crisp apples here. I'm going to put some of those in as well. And you can just imagine how flavorful all of this is going to be when it finishes soaking together. So you can keep going on the amount of fruit if you want to. Add um, more oranges, more apples. It just depends on the size of your container. I'm going to put these beautiful limes in there too. Add the rest of my limes. And as you can see, I have all kinds of other things. We can just keep adding if we want to. But I'm going to stop there for the sake of time. And I'm going to add a cup of orange juice. I've got about a half cup of freshly squeezed lemon juice. I've got the juice of that lime, just a tablespoon or so. You can add more if you're like me and love it, add more. And then we're going to put in two cups of cranberry juice, Ooh, a little splashy splash there and the same amount, two cups of grape juice. You can use white or red. I like to use the dark uh, red colored, you know, kind of a dark purpley red because it just looks more like the regular sangria that is the traditional recipe that we talked about there. And then I've got some sparkle here. We're going to put in some ginger ale. Now this is just a diet ginger ale. You can use uh, plain sparkling water or whatever you like. Seven Up, or Sprite, anything like that will do. And just let that soak together. Now, here's the tip though. When you are letting this in the fridge, stay in the fridge and get all steeped together, don't add the ginger ale yet. You want the bubbles not to fade away. So wait until you're about ready to serve this beautiful pitcher of drink to your family or friends or whoever and then add the sparkly beverage. So that's how you want to do it. You end up with this really pretty red colored drink there. So delicious. Just teeming with all those flavors of summer. And so you can enjoy this year round. All you need is some fruit and those fruit juices and a little bit of sparkle and you have a refreshing, beautiful Beautiful faux sangria. Enjoy.